I'm Rob Ferry, an emergency physician and Pointe Carol Stone enthusiast. In this module, we are going to discuss how to determine how much urine is in the bladder. There are many indications for performing this Pointe Carol ultrasound exam. Most often, we measure the volume of the bladder immediately after the patient has voided. However, there may be other times measuring bladder volume is also important. The urinary bladder holds urine, and depending on how full that bladder is, it takes on different shapes. So having one single mathematical formula doesn't really work. However, because we are measuring the volume of a container, we are going to use the fundamental mathematical formula that involves measuring the length, the height, and the width of the bladder to determine volume. Given these limitations, we are going to use the following formula to measure bladder volume. We are going to measure the length, the width, and the height. While there are many different correction factors that have been derived by different means, we are going to use the most common accepted correction factor of 0.7. Therefore, the formula that we will use to determine bladder volume is the length times the height times the width times 0.7. We will use measurements in centimeters and thus derive our volume in cubic centimeters or cc's. To perform the exam, we will find and measure the bladder in the sagittal and transverse orientations. In the sagittal view, with the probe placed just above the pubic symphysis and the marker dot pointed towards the patient's head, you will drag the probe back and forth. Once you've identified the view where the bladder appears the longest, you will freeze the image. With the image frozen, you will be ready to measure the length of the bladder. This is done by selecting the measurement or caliper icon. When measuring, the caliper should be placed just inside the bladder wall. After completing your sagittal measurement, you will rotate the probe counterclockwise so that the marker dot is pointed towards the patient's right. You will then drag the probe up and down until you again find the greatest dimensions of the bladder. Once you have done this, freeze the image. Select the caliper or measure icon and measure the bladder to obtain its height and its width. Once you have obtained these three measurements, get out your calculator and plug them into our equation to determine the bladder volume. Let's see a couple of examples. First, place the probe in the sagittal view. Find the greatest length of the bladder. Freeze the image and measure the length of the bladder. In this image, the length is 12.19 centimeters. When we calculate our bladder volume, we will round this to the nearest centimeter. So, in this patient, you would write down 12 centimeters for length. Now we're going to obtain our height and width measurements by rotating the probe so that the marker dot is pointed towards the patient's right. We are now in the transverse orientation. Freeze the image when the bladder is the largest. Now measure the height and width of the bladder. Round these measurements to the nearest centimeter. For this patient, the height is 8.63 centimeters, so we round it to 9 centimeters. And the width is 9.33 centimeters. Again, we round this to 9 centimeters. Now that we have our measurements, let's plug them into our bladder volume equation. Bladder volume in this patient is 12 centimeters by 9 centimeters by 9 centimeters. When we multiply this by our correction factor of 0.7, we obtain 680 cc's as our total bladder volume. Pretty easy, right? Let's do this one more time. In this patient, you obtain the length of the bladder first in the sagittal orientation, which you rounded up to 6 centimeters. Then you obtain the height and width in the transverse orientation. After rounding, you use 6 centimeters for the height and 7 centimeters for the width. Now, we get out our calculator and plug these numbers into our bladder volume equation. Bladder volume in this patient is six centimeters by six centimeters by seven centimeters times our correction factor of 0.7. Put all that in and we come up with 176 cc's of urine. Voila, you did it, pretty simple. In summary, to calculate bladder volume, we are going to obtain three measurements of the bladder, the length in the sagittal view, and the height and width in the transverse view. We will round all those measurements to the nearest centimeter. Finally, we will multiply those numbers by our correction factor of 0.7 to obtain our bladder volume measurement in cubic centimeters. Thanks for watching.